I'm Kathleen Jackson. I'm the career advisor in the College of Business. Um, it's nice to see all of you here. And uh, hopefully within a half hour, we can get all of your questions answered and you're gonna feel much more comfortable and confident about tomorrow. Um, what I'm gonna do, because I think a lot of questions uh, that I've heard of have to deal with, how do I know I'm registered? Where do I go to register? How am I going to find out where everybody is tomorrow? And so I'm going to turn everything over to Jessica Linicus right now, and she's going to walk you through the whole registration and handshake process. And then I'll come back on with some tips. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Jessica I'm Linicus. I'm with the career team. I'm the employer relations specialist. Can um, Kathleen, can you see my screen that says career day and fair? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure before I go on. Okay, so everybody, this is on the home page of um, College of Business. So if you put in URI and then type College of Business, this will come up. And I just went to the home and it's actually the spotlight there. So if you just scroll down, um, it's right there. You'll see Dean Abraham Poor and you can click on him and it goes to the career day. So this is gonna be important for tomorrow as well. You'll need this for tomorrow. So there's a little introduction here. And then there's the sessions. So there's two sessions. We have an 8.30 session and it goes for an hour. Um, the first one's all about your major. So if you're in accounting, you pick accounting. If you're in management, you pick management. Now, if you're in general business, you're more than welcome to go to general business or if you're undecided. If you are undecided and you wanna check one of the other ones out, I definitely suggest for you to check um, different ones out. Business analytics is a new um, major, so there's not a lot of people, so I'd love for some people to attend. Um, but you can check whatever major you want. When you decide which one you want, you click on the Zoom link. It will automatically, if you've been in Zoom at all, it will actually just self-populate and put your name in. So you see it, put my name into my email, and then you just click register. Um, tomorrow, if you haven't done that, it will automatically just do it for you. Um, if you've already registered tomorrow, you can come back to the same link and click on it, or you should be getting an email that says you're signed up for the session and then click to go on. So that's how you do the first session. If you go a little bit down more, um, at 9.45, there's a second session. So you have a 15 minute break. It gives you time to go to the bathroom, get a drink, whatever you need to do, and then go into the second session. If you haven't signed up for these yet, I definitely recommend leveraging diversity and inclusion. Um, this is a great panel. It's got someone from Google. It has the VP of HR for Sodexo. Um, crystals and diversity at um, one of the local banks. So it's going to be a great um, session. We also have benefits of joining professional groups and a lot of people don't know what this is and I think that's why people haven't been signing up. But if you have any interest in clubs or different things, this is professional societies outside of um, URI. So if you want to be in finance, you might want to join a CFA group. If you're in accounting, you might want to be part of a, an accounting group. If you're unsure, you might want to be part of a chamber or an HR group. So they're going to talk about the benefits of these groups in different groups. So this is another kind of cool one to check out. There's also other ones here that you can look at. There's a few that we did close only because they were um, full. So we've got to the capacity of those. So the last two have been full. So please don't sign on those just because we'll be over capacity in those. But feel free to sign up for both of these. The College of Business um, does not have classes tomorrow. so. Um, I think most professors are giving extra credit. They're allowing you to do this. Um, so it's kind of in place of your classes to do this. So that's the first part of the day. That will be done at 10.45. And you get another 15 minute break. And now we switch to the career fair. Normally, again, it would be in person. You'd go to the fair and stop at tables. Um, tomorrow, it's all gonna be virtual. So it's very important that you sign up before. If you haven't done it, do it tonight. Um, you're gonna click on the career fair registration. So when you go to the career fair registration, it's gonna take you to your handshake. Um, you can see that I've already registered, so it's already linked here. If you come to the main site, you can just click on events and it'll bring you back to the same thing. So when you click on the fair, it shows you, here you are, College of Business Career Fair. If you haven't signed up for anything, it will say available sessions. You wanna click on available sessions. It will then list all the companies here. There's four pages. So someone asked me today, where's so-and-so? I don't see them. You're gonna to have to keep going. There's only about six or so on a page. So you can see, I'm gonna to go to the bottom. At the very bottom here, 
it will say next page 60. There's four pages of companies, so you have to keep going. Now you have an option to do one-on-one, -on -one, which is a 10-minute session. This is equivalent to like stepping up to the table or having a quick talk with a, an employer. Um, definitely make sure, Kathleen's gonna talk about this, but make sure you're dressed if you're in the one-on-ones. You don't wanna go in a sweatshirt or t-shirt. This is your first impression with a recruiter. So make sure you're dressed um, for those one-on-ones. Um, it's not necessarily an interview, but it's gonna be similar to an interview. A lot of people will get interviews after those one-on-ones. The other thing that you'll have an option for is group sessions. You'll see these group sessions on a lot of them. Um, Northwest Mutual has them. Those are 30 minutes, um, so they're a little bit longer. They're more of a presentation. Um, you'll be kind of in the background like you are here, so um, you won't be able to necessarily answer, I mean, ask questions or talk one-on-one, -on -one, but you can definitely put questions in the chat and they will answer those as they go along as well. So that's another option for you. So the career fair is gonna be running from 11 to two. I would suggest if you don't have an internship, if you don't have a job, if you don't have anything set for spring or fall, go to as many as you can. Even if you're unsure, definitely sign up for these. And the other thing um, I've realized since I've been helping students today is Shake sets this up, is the descriptions are not great. Um, most companies just copy and paste a paragraph from their um, web page. So I'm going to talk to them about this in the future, about putting something different here um, versus these paragraphs, because it's really hard for you to know. Everyone knows what CVS is, but these CVS has um, frontline store jobs. They also have supply chain jobs. Um, they have accounting jobs. There's a lot of different things they have, but they, you won't necessarily know unless they put something like this. It says store manager training internships. So research the company and Kathleen will probably talk a little bit about this before you go in and you know know what you're getting into where you're going but there's a ton of different things from anywhere from supply chain to finance to management to sales um, to marketing so all the things are here including accounting so that's your career fair once you sign up for them it will say your sessions and they'll all be listed here so tomorrow when you go to the fair come back to the same spot you'll see your schedule It'll be listed over here with all, I have no sessions because I'm not going, I'm going to be available for you guys tomorrow, but all your sessions will be listed here and it will say launch. So you'll click launch and then it will go to it. If you have any questions, if you're stuck, something's not working, um, again, on the main webpage, um, whoops, I got out of it, um, for career day, my phone number's on there. Um, I'll give it to you guys now too, but um, if you need to find it, it should be on there. It's 203 901 8640. So day of assistance is right here. So you can click on that. Kathleen and I and Lynn Finnegan will be available for you guys if you need any assistance. You click on this and it will take you right to the Zoom. Um, there's no registration for that once you just go in. Okay. And that's it for me. Let me see if I can get out of this for you, Kathleen. There we go. So before Jessica leaves, what I want to know is, do you have any questions for her about anything that she just talked about? Um, does it answer the questions that you had about where to register and where to go tomorrow? Yeah, this is a small group, so feel free just to call out and ask a question. If, I'm, if you're having trouble, if, um, something wasn't working right for you, um, feel free to ask. Hi, uh, yeah, so with the one-on-one -on -one sessions for the, the different companies, what should you like bring with you like to be prepared for them? Like, is there anything you need to do in advance? Like what, like what should you like present with? Yeah, and Kathleen will talk a little bit more about this, but again, you're gonna be one-on-one -on -one with them. So um, I've got a flannel shirt on right now. Don't go in a flannel shirt, be dressed a little nicer. Um, so make sure you're dressed up and go looking professional to this because it's going to be your first impression for people. So you want to make sure you have your good first impression. Um, your resume, if you loaded it in Handshake, they'll be able to see it. They also are able to see your Handshake profile. So it's important for you guys to have a good profile. Um, and again, it's really what you want to share with them. It's your elevator pitch. Um, I've been telling students and the companies, share your emails back and forth. So if you want to continue the conversation after, you can continue it and talk with them after. And Kathleen probably can add to that too. Any other questions? Is everyone signed up? Thumbs up if you've already signed up, if you've done it. Cool. And you guys have more than one session on Handshake? Awesome, okay. 
I want, I'm going to check all of your names and make sure because I can see. So, no, I'm sure. <laughs> so definitely sign up for as many as you can. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jessica. Thank you. So hi, everybody. I'm just going to share my screen now. I've put together some points that I'm just kind of going to kind of walk you through um, to give you a little bit more confidence and an idea of, you know, what to expect tomorrow. So just give me one second and here we are. Um, so there are five things that I want you to take away with you um, as you think about career day tomorrow and basically any day um, that you're going to meet companies. Um, the first thing is, um, it's not even one of the five points. What I want to tell you about career day is I've been doing this for 11 years and don't get nervous about tomorrow. Um, the people that are coming, most of the people in the morning are alums. Some of them are very recent alums and some of them graduated like when I graduated a long time ago. But regardless, they love coming back to URI and they love coming back to the College of Business so they can spend time with you. Um, so they can help you uh, figure out what your career plan is so that you can learn a little bit more about their companies and what they do. Um, it's really an opportunity to network, to get to know people. And so take advantage of that tomorrow and don't, don't let all the other things that could worry you or get you nervous bother you. So the first thing, first of my five points is something that I stole from somebody, but it's failing to plan is planning to fail. And the bottom line is one of the things that Jessica didn't talk about is when you go to the College of Business webpage and you look at all the different sessions and the speakers, you'll notice if you go back that their names are in blue and that's a hyperlink. And so what will happen is if you click on those individual names, it's going to take you to those people's LinkedIn profiles. And you might say, well, why does that, why would I even care about that? Why does that help me? Well, first of all, you can see what the person does in their company. And secondly, if you keep scrolling down in their LinkedIn profile, you can sort of see what their career path has been. Did they get a master's degree? What was the first job they had? Did they have an internship? What was the internship? So if you find that the company that they're working for is really a company that you're interested in or what they're doing is where you think you wanna end up, then follow their path. And that's some of the research that you can be doing. So who are the alums? Who are the companies that they represent? What can you learn about them? what positions are they hiring for and from everything that you've learned doing your research what questions do you have for them and you can put it in the chat room or cam was it you or connor that asked the question about what's going to happen in a one-on-one -on -one? well some of the things that you find from your research are things that you could potentially ask during your one-on-one -on -one. gee i saw this on your web page or in your LinkedIn profile, can you tell me a little bit more about what that was all about? So that's how you can use that information for your end. Jessica already talked about looking the part. Um, being online is way different um, than, um, you know, being face to face. Uh, one of the things that we've always worried about in other career days is, are we going to have good weather or bad weather? because if it was bad weather and it's raining like it's supposed to rain tomorrow, then people wouldn't come, especially if they were living off campus. Well, the great thing about it being virtual is we're all, we're all wherever we are, in our apartments, at home, or whatever, and we don't have to worry about the hassle of finding a place to park, getting stuck in bad weather, etc. cetera. Um, the big thing is just getting logged on, and now you know how to do that. Um, you especially want to be professionally dressed from the head up because that's what they're going to see. Unless you go across the room and you've got your camera on, then you want to be sure that you're completely beautifully professionally dressed. Um, as much as we're all challenged in terms of getting to um, a barber or to get our haircuts, you want to be clean shaven. You want your hair to be done well. Um, 
you want to practice your elevator pitch. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically a fancy way of saying, how are you going to introduce yourself? So if I were going to introduce myself to you, Genevieve, what I'd want to tell you is my name, um, my year, my major, um, maybe my hometown, um, maybe why I picked this particular session or why I want to know about the company. Um, so it's usually, who are you? What are you looking for? And what do you have to offer the company? So what you have to offer, you can start talking about maybe your favorite class, or if you had an internship or a related job or a project that you want to talk about, those are all great things that you can bring to those one-on-one -on -one sessions. And that's typically what we mean when we say, you know, what's your elevator pitch? Again, if you have a resume and it's in good shape, I would upload it into Handshake. If you're a little concerned, don't worry about getting it up for tomorrow make an appointment with me later on and I'll be happy to go over it with you and then you can upload it. Um, make sure when you have the time, you do go in and you create a great Handshake profile. For some reason, Handshake is crafted a little bit differently than what would typically happen if you were going to meet a recruiter. So if you were going to meet a recruiter or speak with somebody from a company, Usually what you would do is you'd shake hands and you'd hand the person your resume. What happens on Handshake is the employers are looking at your profile first. So they ask questions like, what year are you? What are your strengths and skills? What are your values? Are you looking for an internship or a full-time job? Where are you looking to work? So it's very focused questions that are about you and then after they look at your profile, if they want to know more, then they look at your resume. So in most other business uh, exchanges, your resume comes first and then LinkedIn. For whatever reason, in Handshake, it's your profile and then your resume. So make sure that you spend some good time perfecting that profile so that you're comfortable with it and it really reflects you. And um, we've already talked about you registering both for the events and on Handshake. Like I told you in the very beginning when I said these alumni are coming back because they really want to meet you, if there's one thing I want you to remember about our conversation tonight, it's that business is all about building relationships. And especially when we get more face-to-face, Again, what you're going to find out is that you're going to remember meeting people. Even after you meet people one-on-one -on -one and in group sessions tomorrow, you're going to remember the faces of the recruiters um, that were there in the afternoon and the alumni that were there in the morning. Um, so it's all about finding ways to connect with these people that have taken the time to be with us tomorrow. Um, being online again, is a little bit weird because normally what I make everybody do when we do this session is I make you all turn to each other and shake and shake your hands and there's a special business handshake that you do well again that's something that we don't have to worry about this year but how do you engage with an employer online um, one of the things is unless there's a a problem with connectivity tomorrow, I would recommend that you have your video on so that people can see you. Um, make eye contact with whoever it is that you're speaking with. Um, there are some online cues that you can employ to help you. So when these people are talking, like I'm talking to, I can see people and then I can see black screens. Well, so for those of you who I can actually see, if you're listening to me and what I'm saying makes sense, one of the things that you can do is you can nod your head or you can smile or you can lean in. And I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but you know, having done so much speaking in front of classes, I know that I take so many of my cues from the people I'm talking to. So you wanna give the alum and the corporate partners those same kinds of cues 
as you're engaging with them online. Good eye contact is important, smiling is important, and you want to be sure that you get the names of the individuals that you spoke with. I always keep like some kind of a pad by the side of me when I'm talking and I'll jot names down. Even if it's not fancy, at least I can go back and I can look for those names or those points um, that I wanted to remember and make moving forward. Um, the other thing is for those of you who are here because you are in Business 390, you will be required to do write-ups. So you wanna be making notes of the sessions in the morning of the things that kind of stuck out to you. We always call it your three greatest takeaways. Um, and for those of you who might be doing it for credit in other classes, I'm sure there are going to be um, things that those professors are gonna require of you. So just make sure you have a notebook so that you can take notes um, about everything that uh, people are offering. All right. Um, online uh, career fair etiquette. Um, to the best of your ability, and I know you're in apartments and I know you're in tight cramped spaces, but the more you start to do virtual interviewing, the more your, um, your whole area, the space that you are presenting yourself in becomes important. It sort of becomes a reflection of you. So before you sit down, make sure that what somebody would see behind you is neat and organized. I had a big stack of papers up here. Before I sat down, I took them all and they're on the floor under my feet. Um, make sure that the lighting that's in your room isn't washing you out. Um, so I have a desk lamp and you can see that as I move it, it's affecting my image online. Well, I know a lot of the, um, the off-campus housing, for whatever reason, there seems to be a ceiling fan with a light right above somebody's head. And I'm always, always worried that the ceiling fan is going to fall off. And the light sort of gives you this whole halo effect. But a lot of times it also, it always wipes you out too. So just to the best of your ability, see what you can do in terms of controlling your environment. And make sure your roommates or whoever's in your space with you knows that you're involved in a professional meeting. I know it's fun to do the photo bomb thing um, or to have somebody come in and get food out of the refrigerator that's right behind you. But if that's your one minute to make your point with this employer that you really want to work for, yeah, we'll all laugh at this point. But moving forward, it's a good thing to kind of um, control as much as you can. And last but not least, um, you want to follow up. So my guess is you're going to meet, let's see, in the morning sessions, you're probably going to meet four people each session. So that's eight people. In the afternoon, you could be meeting another four or five or six people. The people that you really want to connect with, that you want to form that relationship with, feel free to get online and send them a thank you note. You know, I really appreciated the talk. I never really thought about what it would be like working for in an accounting capacity in the government before, but from what you shared, I really, it's, it's now a career path that I wanna pursue. Thank you again for your time and look forward to seeing you next year, hopefully face-to-face. -face. That's all you need to do, but you've already established a relationship. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now. And I'm going to invite all of you to turn on your cameras if you choose to. And if not, please shout out any questions, concerns, fears, thoughts, anything that you have before we, we wrap up the session. 